Okay, so you might want to know what will the N-Alive naloxone pack look like in your possessions when you come to leave prison. Well, this is what it'll look like and it'll be with your possessions when you leave and the first thing you need to do is to check that you do have this pack with you in your possessions and then the next thing to do is to check the security seal uh, on the pack and then you need to open the pack and check the contents. So let's do that now. First of all, there's the uh, DVD which has this film on it. So you'll be able to look at it again to learn about uh, the NLive study that's being done. And you can also show this uh, to your family to explain what you're involved with. And also in it, you'll find the and alive wallet. So let's look at this in a bit more detail. So what you have here, first of all, is you have an identity card, uh, which explains why you're carrying the naloxone with you in your wallet. Uh, there's an instruction pack to remind you about some of the uh, training about how to give naloxone. And there's the uh, free post, pre prepaid, card for you to be able to make contact with us anonymously. Uh, depending which group you're in, uh, you, you will either just have the general information we've described or you will have the naloxone injection inside this zip section to be given in the event of you having uh, an overdose. So let's look at the naloxone in more detail. When you open the pack, uh, you'll find that there are three parts inside. You'll have the syringe, the plunger rod, and the needle. So let's put these together. First of all, we screw the plunger rod into the syringe. We take off the protective cap. We open up the needle. and put that on the end of the syringe. And there you have the complete naloxone injection. So if you're then needing to give the naloxone injection, you'll take the sheath off the needle and you then put the needle straight into the shoulder or the muscle on the thigh of the person who's had the overdose. And you will then give 0.8 of the two mils uh, so that's just under half of what's in the syringe. And then you remove it and put it aside safely. And then you give it to the ambulance staff when the ambulance turns up. 